for now we are still a little bit just finishing up 2022 as you can see by the title of this video we are still finishing off end of year chats 2022 this is episode three the coveted episode three where i'll be turning my locks or i'll be coloring my locks dark green but for now as you've seen in episode two i have bleached my locks i honestly didn't go that hard in making sure that my locks are super bright because i didn't want the green to come off too bright i really want it to be the sort of color that you can see properly in sunlight but not be too jarring so yeah come with me as i explore coloring my hair this is how the bleach came out which i am happy about because if it was brighter than this um if it continued being as bright as these are i'm nervous about how the green was going to come out i'm not too attached to how it comes out i really just wanted to do something that pushes me out of my comfort zone in the beginning of the year so that you know i can just shock myself a little bit while we color my hair green we'll also be having some chats just to properly end off reflecting on 2022 or on the year of 2022 and for me to just share my heart with you guys about what's been going on with me in the year and some things that i hope to be implementing in 2023 so in this video we will be chatting about family expectations and age expectations as well as new year's resolutions if any of those topics are something that you might feel triggered about or something that you think that you might upset you please do opt out of this video no pressure no harm done just take care of yourself let me show you the products that we're going to be using today and this is going to be a very simple coloring as you've seen in my last video on bleaching i don't have as much technique on coloring because the last time i colored my hair i think my locks were a year or two years old but i will do a video after this on what i believe uh, i did wrong with bleaching my hair and what you can avoid when you bleach yours so i'm going to show you the products that we're going to be using today as usual we're going to be using a container to mix the color in and as i've shown you guys before we're still using the same brand i'm going to be using the brilliant hair color semi-permanent hair dye in the color dark green and as you can see it's for bleached hair which is why i bleached my locks first and we are going to be using the hair applicator as you guys saw last time i tried to use this but it was a bit too slow so we'll see how it works this time around if it takes too long um at the risk of dyeing my hands and staining my nails i will be using something different and this conditioner is going to be what we use to mix with the color so that it becomes a paste and i can color in with it mixed the hair dye <laughs> it's me every time why is it do this okay so i'm just gonna start applying hair like who's gonna beat me so what if my hair is green <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna actually just go ahead and put on this plastic as a glove just to avoid any accidents so yeah because of the sound of this I'm not going to be able to chat while I'm applying so those I 
whole two hours later this is what we have so far a whole two hours later this is what we have so far so <laughs> so I've coated all the locks with the dye around my head you guys can see and like i said i risked coloring my nails but it's fine it's not that bad it's fine so i'm going to be keeping this color in my hair for minimum of one hour but maximum four hours or even more because the coloring dye is not as harsh as bleach so it's very gentle on the hair so yeah i'm just gonna be waiting it out and seeing how it looks when i've washed it out i will show you guys soon but let's now chat about family expectations so i'm coming around to the time of my life where i'm almost or i am considered a grown woman in my family or by my family so i can see how you know expectations are changing and and there's just something so like for instance expectations where you know your firstly your decisions you have to explain them a little less because everyone sort of trusts that you know what you're doing and you know you just need support from them so whatever it is that you want to do or you are doing they just want to support you without asking too many questions or without making you feel like you might be doing something um, wrong because they understand your vision for your life which is something that I'm so grateful for that my family is actually able to adjust with you know my growth and actually you know support me even if I'm doing things that are not typical or that they would have expected for me because of the time that they grew up in but there's also a certain expectation that you know there are some decisions that i definitely will make especially as a woman you know when people expect that you will want a family you should want a family especially if you have a partner and that partner is supportive you know and they can see that you guys are building towards a future but what if you know you might want a completely different future in the relationship aspect as well it's like how i've done with my career and wanted things that are completely different to what people expected for me what if i want to do the same with family and yeah it's just been it's just been very i, I won't say odd but very interesting to see when people are considering you a grown adult 
and are expecting you to make any decision even the one of having your own family which i'll be honest with you i'm not settled by with that decision yet i still don't know what that means to have a family of my own or if i want to have a family of my own if i'm if i'm truthfully speaking because some things for me right now look a lot more possible and look a lot more realistic and practical for the kind of life that i want for myself than having a family and then there is the romantic part or the romantic version um, that is just so beautiful you know that god has intended for family that he's created family for us that is just so beautiful especially in marriage but there's also the very real labor intensive demanding role that you will have to play for you to maintain that family you know taking a lot of time from potentially you know putting into your career and then you have to put it into your family for nurturing caring for everyone else and i don't believe that everybody else could be able to give you the same amount of nurturing and caring back especially when you're playing that role of the nurturer and the family and i've also you know wanted if would it be too odd to also want a family but still not want to be the nurturer you know like also want to maybe if i would want I'm, I'm heterosexual um so i am interested in men so for me to want the man or my man to be the one who's more nurturing and caring for the family um while he still has a career but for me to solely be someone who focuses more on career and nurture here and there just like how dads or fathers in a family in a heterosexual family dynamic would be expected to do which then obviously brings us back to how that family uh how, how my extended family uh or even his extended family would then you know see me would i be now a bad woman or not woman enough but I really, you know, feel like around this time of my life, like I really want to make decisions that serve me, even if they are difficult. I truly believe that, you know, um, God does want the best for me and he does want to make the desires of my heart come true. It's just that for now, I'm not sure what those desires are, but I've, it's just been so interesting to see, especially over the festive season. And around Christmas time, we see how moms are just given this huge responsibility of Christmas or huge responsibility of family gatherings to be the one that just makes everything a food male for everyone. Everyone must feel welcome because and it's just like, do I actually even care to, to have all of that responsibility on me around the time of the year where I need to be resting? Because I was also thinking about, you know, if I you know what if um what if how busy my decembers are because of my career they will eventually be taken over by my my decembers being busy because excuse me because of family responsibility and kids being on holiday and honestly the thought of that honestly put me off <laughs> uh -uh, it put me off sana because when do i rest when when do i get downtime get done like when does it happen and i'm sure like you know we are just and we eventually are able to handle more and more as we are trusted more and more and you know as god gives us more strength but damn like the thought of it uh family -uh. <laughs> but on the um on the on the family expectation as well it's sort of you know around this time of the year people start to you know thinking about including myself start thinking about how old you're turning what are your age expectations or what were your age expectations for you know this age what was i expecting to have accomplished or what kind of a person did i expect to be did i expect to be dying my hair green <laughs> definitely not i could have never seen this coming but i love that because honestly for me if i could think about what i wanted for myself even eight years ago to what i want for myself now or, or what i am now and what i expect of myself now the 
I, I am so grateful that it's simplified over the years. It's simple, simplified to, I need to stay stubborn. I need to stay persistent. I need to only, um, I need to maintain focus. And I now am more and more certain that I also need to maintain being fun because I can see how life can suck the fun out of you. Responsibility and pressure and, 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 and can suck the fun out of you. But that's something that I've told myself that I need to stay fun. I need to stay focused. I need to stay curious. Those three things, top three for me. What I achieve is when it's going to be through that. It's going to be, I still want to be able to laugh in between, you know, a very hectic day and, Guys, I, I have the most ama amazing manager actually because this is one thing that he lives by where he's always saying that even when you guys are tasting it throughout the day working together, don't forget to also just randomly send someone a joke or you know find out just how much, how someone is doing or just chat to them. Especially when you work remote, you can get just demanding request, 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 request from each other and just work, work, work. It always reminds us that guys just also just be really grateful that you work with great people like it's these are not people that you wouldn't want to have a chat with so take that opportunity to have a chat and that's and that's stuck with me on the short time that you know i've worked with him that stuck with me that i really want to stay like that for for as long as i as long as i live honestly and i want to be, i want to emulate that kind of leadership as well uh, yeah so these age expectations can also then birth new year's uh, resolution so you like this year this one needs to happen and obviously new year's resolution has evolved into vision boards and i really believe in the culture of vision boards because you know i've told you guys how um last year's like quite a few things on my vision board even things that i didn't even plan how i was going to do they ended up just happening and i realized when i see the vision board after and that, that oh that was actually something that was on my vision board but for me what helped with having a vision board is really just letting go and not like looking at it every single day in Funnily enough, it was right there in my office, right like in my working space. It was right there in front of me, but I never felt this pressure to constantly compare where my life, what is my vision board saying, which I'm just so grateful for that, you know, it didn't have that effect on me of putting pressure on myself, but it was really a good reminder every time see just how, you know, faithful God is with the desires of my heart. And that's actually how I see vision boards that you just putting the desires of your heart out there just so you just for you to you know point back and say this is how god has been faithful this year he really saw my heart and he found a way to make it happen because really he's the one that makes all things happen but when it comes to new year's resolution i could never be able i don't think i don't think i've ever stuck to a new year's resolution i think it's so much more pressure to like be like this year i will be Yo, like I can't even be like that for a, a week. But not to say consistency is, is is not important, but I feel like there was a certain level of New Year's resolution expectation that just put a damper on things. It just put so much pressure on people, especially because New Year's resolution used to start in January. In January, you need to show everyone, but we bambile way now you are in within the new year but honestly guys i love the the pace that we've started going at or maybe it's just me and the people that i know we've started going at this pace of you know taking it easy in jan and then you know in feb really getting into the operations of things which you can see this channel is taking on that philosophy you know in jan let's just you know tie, tidy up our affairs tie up our affairs of the previous year and then you know let's work with the year end calendar let's work with you know let's work with the financial calendar let's work with that um and you know tidy up things in jan and really mentally get into it get back into your expectations and then i'm not saying days off but days off are important your days off are important so yeah i think um 
in general i i i've just seen how even with all the pressure of the last year as much as i didn't show up my best in relationships sometimes when i was frustrated that's the one takeaway for me that really just makes me so sad because i love the people in my life so much but i am also so grateful that they still give me chances for me to be able to you know give myself grace and also have ease and build ease into myself and my life whether the situation is cool or not for me to stay cool cool though as a cucumber cool as a cucumber cool as a cucumber <laughs> Yo, so basically the green is for me to say cucumber. Okay, shall I? No problem. I'll take the challenge for my hair. So yeah, um, guys, I just want to chat a little before we get into the new year. Um, like I said, I have so many surprises for you guys, guys. And one thing that I appreciate the most is all of your support every single comment i don't care if it's one comment or two or three it's just been great it's just been amazing because youtube is something that kept being in my heart and being at the back of my mind that i want to do so now that i am doing it honestly it just i'm grateful every single day like it's more than i expected honestly it's more than anything that i expected and this year the the goal is to just grow more and more and to bring you fresh content and to bring you valuable content as well that you know makes you feel like you're learning or makes you feel like you are getting exposed to something that you otherwise wouldn't have let me not give away too much about what's going on in the new year but please let me know what are your last thoughts of 2022 before we get straight into 2023 content and what is and my life update of what is currently you know what's going on in 2023 and just a little update on what's been happening in my life right now and where we are going with the channel please let me know if you have some big updates all the best all the best all the best for the year um just so you guys know now i'm gonna wash my hair and then i'm gonna style it and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like and yeah i'll be bringing you a lot more videos this year i just want to have fun i just want to really really have fun this year so i hope you are willing to go on this journey with me have fun with me stay focused in 2023 stay fun and stay curious All right so i will see you as soon as i've styled and then the video so this is how the hair came out it looked really bright before i washed it out but this is actually how it comes out it's quite dark as you can see it's not like how bright it was before i washed it out and it wasn't in all the locks and as you can see we have it on the tips and with some of them we have it on the whole lock there's just a few as you can see i am really happy with how this turned out i feel like i'm gonna be cool as a cucumber that's the theme for 2023 um so yeah please let me know what you think of this new look in my hair it is a semi-permanent uh, dye so it's going to be out in about six washes but it's a bit fun to have it for now please let me know what you think please like the video and comment what you think about the look and also subscribe to stay tuned with all the new updates that we're going to have in the new year and thank you so much for spending your time with me thank you for watching